G'day, Stephen Thompson and Kiri Farrell. Welcome to another episode of Stephen and Kiri. So welcome back everyone, it's our first one for 2020. We'd probably like to talk though that 2019 ended a little bit rough for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, we take our hats off to the RFS and the police, fire, army, I mean everyone that helped out at the end of last year and to any of the families who actually lost their homes or property or anything like that. I mean, we know a lot of properties that we manage and people that were touched in the community. So again, um, our sympathy to anyone was affected. But then of course yeah. we moved into 2020 and we had, the if it wasn't <laughs> fire, it was flood. Yeah. Not, not that it was a real flood. Yes, the bridge was closed for a couple of days and people got to see a little bit of water. But for my nearly 50 years living here in the Hawkesbury, it was one of the first times we've actually seen a flood. In fact, it's 28 years since our last flood to the exact day, 9th of February, 1992. But it was the first time we've had a flood in a long, long time that wasn't caused by Warragamba Dam and the water being let out. So thank goodness the dam wasn't full, full and yeah. they did start releasing water. Or we might have actually got to see what it was like back in the late 1800s when they let the main street of Richmond had water running through it. So hopefully we'll never see those times again. But anyway, to yep. the real estate market. <laughs> so in terms of the market, uh, listings are a bit down, but the sales are up. So if you look at our Penrith area, we are having a fantastic month over there. So we are getting upwards of 10 to 30 people attending our open homes. And we've recently had three properties that are sold for either full price or over. So the market in the Nepean area is definitely strong and going really well. And those three sales you mentioned, they're mm -hmm. only this month actually. They were, yeah. So, but you can just see the stock isn't out there as yeah. much. I know the stats, if you have a look in our newsletter, the stats are definitely down, especially yeah. compared to last year. Mm -hmm. um, but you're still quick sales. Yeah, now the really Haw good. The Hawkesbury is not moving quite as fast, yeah, it's but it's still doing well. There seems to be a lot of stock coming on the market, but when you look at the suburbs individually, they are still down from last year. So I guess it comes back to really buyer demand. We are seeing a lot of first home buyers and there's a lot of people talking about taking up that new government new grant, grants, yeah. which is great, you know? I mean, happy to see anyone get some tax money back, you know, it's perfect. Um, but again, the, we, the Nepean is a lot more active than the Hawkesbury. But we're still selling, we're listing selling, so the Hawkesbury just pops along, does what it needs to do, and I guess, like we're predicting, it'll stay on that same sort of plateau with little highs and lows, but nothing too major for the it's next five years. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, what do they say? Every seven to 10 years, we have another boom. Mm -hmm. Realistically, that's gotta be the start of that's at least another five years away. Yeah. That's our wrap for February, yeah. and we'll talk to you next month. Bye. See ya. <laughs>